Hello everybody, welcome back to Thomas Plays Games. Today I am playing as Ethiopia in Yopri and Rosales, going for the Prester John achievement. Before we, uh, when we last left off, we were attacking Adal and Adran, trying to get more land to convert to the wonderful Coptic faith and just have more power to work on uh, other things. I was looking at the ideas before the uh, in-between episodes, and I think religious ideas would be the best one. There's only really one other Coptic uh, country in the entire game. So taking religious means that we essentially, for every country we border, we're going to get Deus Fault. And early on, saving Diplo points for other uh, adventures, such as development, uh, when you're doing wars so you don't have to actually uh, spend Diplo points to take land, can be extremely powerful and it uh, benefits you for, through the rest of the game. I was looking at taking economic just because I like getting money and I really like monthly autonomy change, minus 0.05. But looking at Ethiopia's ideas, we get minus 0.05 just naturally, as well as the empire status is really quite powerful. Uh, let's just unpause and continue uh, pushing in, finishing our war, and going for the humiliate on. Getting the Humiliate on a doll will be very nice to get the uh, plus one plus one, uh, bonus plus one power from each of these, uh, in each of the, uh, the Monarch Point categories. Now, do you want to peace out or not? Yeah, he's very hesitant too. I guess we'll just have to, uh, show him the error of his ways. Over here, just take in as much as I can. And we are looting quite a lot, which is good to see. Trade now. We control the only import center trade in this entire uh, region. Actually, we don't. We control one of the two important ones. But unfortunately, that's not too... Uh, yeah, the trade node of Ethiopia is really not very uh, powerful. We want uh, the Gulf of Aden so that anything uh, any trade we can push from India into the Gulf of Aden, and maybe even up to Alexandria, would be very nice to have. There we go, getting our first idea, religious. Took here. I might actually leave one guy there, just to... Uh, just to get the loot. So he's close. So he's able to loot 0.1 ducats, which is essentially his upkeep. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, it'll be a uh, you know just a nice way to save money while we're on the war path. We're close to getting enough money to actually. Here's one. Leave one guy there. Run to here. Something here. Just one over to there. To move into his capital. Yeah. So, we can actually piece him out and get some money for it. And he'll break the alliance. That's good to see. Now, what if I don't break the alliance? Could I get more preparations? I could. And a little bit of money. I'm not going to worry about humiliating Adjuran. It'll be uh, good enough to. Around the uh, the waste or the that land, it'll be enough to humiliate uh, Adal to get our power protection pretty high. And yeah, humiliate 95 ducats and a decent chunk of land. Go. So yeah, bonus uh, power protection. It's gonna cost a bit to core, and I'll probably wait to do any coring. Get rid of that one. We don't need it yet. And I think I won't reduce autonomy. We should be able to convert them or fight off any rebels without too much issue. It's no longer a valid rival for us. Can we get a new rival? We can get new rivals. Like Adola and the Mamluks. So, yep. Building supply network here. This is Adola. Yep. I would like to take land from Adola. Partly because they're Sunni, or Coptic, and partly because I really want to get that second Coptic belief. Probably going to get the core creation reduction, or core creation cost reduction. 
Let's see how much we're making. We're still losing a bit of money every month. And pulling all our troops together. Split them in half and send them up. Actually, maybe I'll keep them in here while we uh, convert. I would like more... Uh, yeah, do you have any allies? You do not have any allies, and we still have a truce. Don't need to know about Sid. Yeah, we still have a truce for this year, so it doesn't benefit us to, to do any aggressive actions uh, before a uh, reasonable time. How much land does Adola have? Or, Adola has 8,000 troops and a good bit of land. So let's give the clergy a bit of stuff. Simeon. Yeah, let's give them Simeon. That's good enough. Excellent. And I think I'll give them Monopoly Charters because I want the minus 5% development bonus for this. I did start converting uh, this culture from Somali to uh, our uh, Amara, our major um, our major culture group. Because if I'm going to be developing this province to be one of our best provinces, I don't want it to be the wrong, or a potentially wrong culture. Did increase our force limit by one. I'll start recruiting a few boats. We have very few sailors, so it'll take a bit for that to go. Oh, excellent. For t 10 years, on, I don't think I'll go for that. I think I'll go for bonus stability. Uh, extra stability means faster conversion, which means le and also lower revolt risk, which means less revolts overall. And Adol. Adol is pretty weak. We can fabricate here. Excellent. Curia. I would like to take their land, but it just doesn't seem feasible right now. And the only problem is with so much reliance on the gold in Kaffa, we're getting a lot of inflation. Uh, which I'm not the uh, the biggest fan of. The inflation, uh, I don't like wasting my admin points on stuff like, uh, like money. I want to spend it on painting the map my color. Just go back up to speed four and wait a bit. Curia. You're allied with Ajaran, and you're allied with Yemen, which is not the not the most powerful ally. Getting close to there. Excellent. A new church will be built. Or that. Where is the end? Derta, right here. Uh, it gives us. It's essentially 35 ducats for 0.5 prestige. I don't value money that highly, so I might as well. We're not going to get any monthly autonomy from there. And. Uh, we'll try to ease tensions. There's no need to do that when I'm going for an actual Casus Belli from, from claims. And our money is slowly going up. <laughs> actually quite quickly going up. Or what? Uh, I'd, I'd assume it would be from uh, the quite high autonomy reduction that we have. And once we get down to lower war exhaustion, I'll start coring all these, trying to save as many points as we can, since, since we are going to have some pretty uh, hefty tech penalties. Excellent. I'll try to speed up any revolts here. Yeah, speeding up some Sunni zealots could be quite nice. Military leader has left us, well that's unfortunate. So I'll put my son back in charge. He's a uh, one two one is about where you'd uh, expect a ruler to be, especially uh, or a leader to be. And the two shock is the most important part. It's unlikely anyone we're gonna fight has higher than two shock. And just one more month. I'm a bit of a dummy. Forgot that I have to core that land. And finally, here we go. Trying 
trying to minimize the cost as much as possible. But I would like this land to actually revolt so I don't have to worry about it anymore. And yeah, with the missionary going, it does cost a bit. I, I would prefer spy network construction, but would I rather a military person? Land force limit is not the, the most vital of, uh, of things. But we can get a new boat. Oh, we can get two new boats. Excellent. So we finally changed the culture uh, right here. So it's now our culture. It was Somali, but uh, I, I again, I'd still prefer to have our land. And wow. Uh, where is that? Shoa. Shoa will become our new capital. Time has come for the uh, vision which has been shown a shining mountain on which to build a new capital. A church has already been constructed at the site. Let us not break from tradition. Or would I like a new capital in here for 25 power? I think most of these provinces... Autonomy map mode. Most of these provinces, I think, are already pretty low in autonomy, so it's not a huge benefit to uh, to change that. Uh, so I think I'll just try to max out my uh, my stability. Like we're already reducing that by almost 0.2 every month, which is just un an unbelievable rate. Send our boats out to protect trade. I would like the land, the money. We collect for trade here. It's the problem with uh, the Gulf of Aden is that nothing goes into Ethiopia. Ethiopia only, only feeds it to Alexandria. Which is a little annoying now. Here and here. Send these guys over here just in case. Where are we going to get our... Get 10,000 somewhere. Seems here. And we're just a bit too late to do anything properly. It's a pretty annoying. But we'll group these guys together and back in a second. Yeah, that's that's quite annoying. And I guess I'll send my missionary over here since he got kicked out. I would like urban infrastructure. And let's go in and see if we can't get rid of these Sunni zealots. And we are winning, but just barely. Which is uh, very, very costly. Unfortunately, we got there just a few seconds too late. Side with one fan. I do not value. Uh, I'm not worried about high autonomy in this campaign. The, uh, the Ethiopian traditions uh, should make it so that we don't have to worry about increasing autonomy. Excellent. So, almost done here. A couple more there. Send our boat out to protect trade and get our first idea. Deus Vault. So we should get... Uh, We'll be getting in a second a bunch of different benefits from this. We can't do anything here. And we already have claims on all of those. So I'll start building here and take these diplomats back. Once we get... Oops, never mind, I gotta deal with another revolt. Luckily this will be the last revolt we have to worry about in any of this new land. Go into the mountain provinces. Unless he moves into this one, then we'll be fine. And prefer to keep my manpower as high as possible. He does have two shock in his siege. And yeah, it's unlikely that he will actually move to there. So maybe I'll put one guy here and one guy here. Oh wow, that's a really good event. Fifty admin points. 
I would like another missionary. And of course he moves. Well, he moves into the highlands, which is actually just where we want him to be. There we go. Side with the clergy, and have the nobility lose uh, some things. Side with neither party. I would rather the clergy be more powerful than the nobility, even though I can't improve the nobility's uh, happiness with me. Uh, having a powerful clergy so that I can get more admin points out of them is, is my, my chief concern. Yep. Just gotta wait for more missionaries so I can convert all that land. And now he should move back into one of these two provinces. More likely than not, the mountains. And then we can take him out with the defender bonus. I would like this fine network here as well. Fabricate on all of these provinces if possible. When is he going to move back? Oh. Can we catch him? We can't catch him. I don't know where he's going. But I want to be there first. He's moving to Tajara. Can we get there first? No, we cannot. But we can be there in time to at least do something. And it's coastal desert, which means we don't have a huge malice to attacking. So, once we all get there, we should be able to clean up any levels. Excellent. And that should be the majority of the revolts we have to worry about with all that new land. It's, uh, taking lots of good stuff. The only problem is we lost a lot of manpower for those. And what is this? Tech 5. It's good to see. Let's get some North African. Well, let's get some South African warriors. And light cavalry for the more morale pips. Send it over here to get rid of that. And wow, it looks like there was a, a successful revolt down here. Yeah, that's all of the uh, the people we can rival. We're gonna fight Adola soon. Try to keep our power projection as high as possible. And of course, this tech. So we're ahead on all of these techs, which is pretty nice. I like the new institutions. Uh, I wish they spread a little faster, but the, uh, just having them is uh, is quite nice. Now, how powerful is Adola? Adola only has 6,000 troops, so we could pretty easily take them out. I think I will... Yeah, my next uh, 50 points I'll put into a general. So that we can have more power. And, and yeah, we're making quite a, a pretty penny on this. So let's get the land force limit guy, just mostly so we can get more uh, points. And I would like... Each of these has more development, either of them. So, I guess I'll take Vegeta. Wow, five shock! What? Five shock is that is wow, that is crazy. That is wow. We could probably take on the Mamluks with that. Uh huh. That is madness. I'm just, uh, uh, that's, that's, uh, yeah, quite, I'm hesitating to make the bad joke, but quite shocking. Let's get the trade efficiency guy. Got enough diplomats that I'm not worried about anything else. And yeah, we start off pretty powerful as Ethiopia. Yeah, it'd be nice to finish looting those things, but... Just power. So for five years plus two unrest, is there any actual... No, I don't think we have to worry about that. So we got the three stabilities. Pretty good. And our king's only 45 years old, so hopefully he won't be dying anytime soon. And I'll send my five shock. I'll send this guy to hunt for any armies. And 
I want, definitely up to here so that I can take uh, this land from Vicuria and get more beliefs. And let's just see how much else I can grab. I could actually grab the entire country with very low aggressive expansion because uh, Adola is Coptic and everybody else here is Sunni or Shia. And I could actually probably take most of his land without, or all of his land, without any real problems because how of it being Shia. And another idea. Let's just go on a conversion tear. Actually, I'm going to attack him. We have the tech advantage and we have the leader advantage, plus a a very minor troop advantage. Wow! Five shock. I, just, I can't believe it. See, we can't do any uh, shenanigans like converting to Jewish because of the achievement run. But it is possible, since Semien is the only Jewish province in the entire game, to actually uh, force convert your country to Jewish as Ethiopia. Can we? No, we can't. But we can at least try to save some money. And, wow, just stacking on the good modifiers. Minus 10% stability cost because we are calm. Nice to see. I think I will disinherit my heir. I'm, I'm not sold that I'm concerned with uh, losing him, but I don't want, uh, I don't want a bad heir. I would, I prefer to roll higher than a one to one. And even though he was an okay general, we now have the, uh, the god general. Yeah, Esrus. boats, but I'll save my money, I guess. Yeah, I would like to take this land. Apparently Warsongali insulted us. They don't have enough aggressive expansion on us that they could actually even think about forming a coalition. That looks not getting attacked by any the Ottomans yet, but soon. And there we go. We have full annex. Demand full annexation. The only person who might care is Adola himself, who won't exist. And there we go. Ethiopia becoming more and more powerful. All these guys together and these guys here. And I think to avoid any uh, unnecessary losses. I will increase autonomy here, just so that we don't have to uh, worry about anything. And I'll wait maybe a few months to, before I do it, or take the actual one. Before I worry about actually uh, doing the... Um, well, is it actually, is it increased at all? Yeah, I don't think it is. I think it's going to be this cost no matter what. Yeah, maybe not supposed to, but... Just go for the uh, click of the buttons. Now, yeah, that barely impacted our aggressive expansion. And finally, let's take the land that is ours, or that should be our Coptic holdings, so that we can finally get the bonuses here. Excellent. And no more claims could be fabricated here. So we'll pull you back and send him to Adola. I would like to send another person to the Mamluks. How many troops does the Mamluks actually have? Mamluks. Mamluks. There we go. So he has 28,000. So I don't want to actually fight the Mamluks if I can avoid it. The uh, the best time to attack them would be when the Ottomans attack them. Uh, which they should do sometime. If I could see them, I could see their ideas. But unfortunately I don't have that luxury. Luxury. Problems. And there we go. A very quick siege. And I'll pull him. Fabricate here and pull him back for Sangali. There we go. Take it. 
taking this land. Nobody will join anything, so there we go. And increasing autonomy. And yeah, that's about what it'll cost no matter what, so it's not worth worrying about. Now, who are you at war with? Your guns are at war with each other. You're allied to Adjurin. That's it, you're allied to Yemen. Is just ally. Yemen has a couple allies actually. I think I might try to vassalize Yemen and force them to be our religion and then give them their uh, cores back just to save some points. Yeah. Start of a glorious era. So by the bank of the Nile. Glory to the Lord, where Islam is ours. April, sorry. Uh, for many years, great Christian city has been. Uh, basically, we just took this land back, and now we get some bonus uh, conversion chance on these two provinces uh, for a little while, so that it is easier to make them Coptic. And yeah, I'll be going for more territorial rights. All of the benefits are extremely good. Wow, bonus. Better relations over time. Would like you to go there. Yeah, I'll probably be making all of this territory, or all of these territory states, just because we control all of them. So it makes the land actually valuable to have. And the Red Coast, I'm a little more hesitant. But this land is actually already ours. So, whoop. Yep. That means basically the entire Ethiopian trade node is ours. So as much of the land as that whatever money is generated there is pretty much all uh, going to us. And yeah, just uh, seems to be going well. Once these guys are done, I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing to vassalize Ajuran. Uh, he's, he's just far enough away that I don't think I'll be eating him anytime soon. And yeah, but it might be easier just to take whatever land we can. I don't want to attack Adal because of Mamluks, but it seems that the Mamluks and the Ottomans are now at war, which means I might be attacking the Mamluks first. Are your allies? Mamluks and Hadjuran again. It's our development. Yeah. Conversion successful. So we'll keep converting the land. Let's see. So his allies would still join uh, by quite a lot, but let's see how the Mamluks feel. They are not as enthusiastic, so I'll actually... Yeah, Shemur, I'm not worried about, but I don't want Adal to, to be doing anything uh, suspicious. Stability cost reduction. Yeah, the major benefit of this one was Deus Fault. So we're not gonna, I'm not too concerned with completing the ideas. Especially because the first two that we can unlock by having religious ideas aren't the uh, the most important of the ideas. I would really like to take a doll. Fabricate on here. Celia. Most valuable province, and yeah, development, autonomy, villages, trade goods. Oh, that might be good to look at. Yeah, we only have one gold province, and as we uh, improve, so, yeah, development right here. So all this land is kind of crap, but it'll uh, it's still good to, to claim just for even minor reductions, and I'm not doing anything else with my diplomats as is. So the Mamluks will not join if we declare on Adal. We do have to fight Adjuran, but if I only take a small bit of land, it should be worth it. How long is our truce? We still have a very long truce with them. Yeah, both of these guys are very eager to accept. Your allies. Just Adjuran. Hmm. 
we're in an interesting position where the Mamluks are gonna very quickly be weakened pretty significantly. So I might actually want to. I think I'll recruit some more troops. Group them together with these guys. I'll declare war on the Mamluks when I can and immediately take Adal out. Uh, I don't want to be fighting him if I can avoid it. Uh, so taking him out and maybe leaving like a token troop on his uh, capital to siege or a token three troops uh, will mean we can't do that. Then I will actually. Uh, I will actually set Hejaz as my rival. Issue an embargo on him. Group our armies together, and I think we're in a, we're in a pretty good position. The uh, our largest and most dangerous enemy is now being beaten up by the Ottomans. Keep an eye on how many troops they actually have. They still have a very high amount, so we don't want to hit them yet. But we we will want to hit them quite soon. Now this province actually has religious zeal for 20 years, which is a bit of a bummer. Wow, these didn't even have feudalism. Uh, so it will take a while before we can actually convert that land, but it will be good to have. Um, but yeah, the Ethiopia getting bigger, getting stronger, continuing to grow, and soon gonna attack the Mamluks. I think, uh, yeah, we're doing, moving quite quickly in this campaign. I think I'll call it here. Thank you for watching Thomas Plays Games, and I hope to see you next time.